What's going on guys? Welcome back to Olympian Official. It's your man Leland, aka Lee. And what we're doing right now is we're gonna get into our first workout. All right, this routine right here is not for the weak, but it is for the beginners, all right? So check this out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up with just some regular body weight dips, some regular body weight pull-ups. And I couldn't record the pull-ups because I was actually doing something at the time, really coaching him. This is one of the guys I train and he's doing very great. He's a beginner, this is his first day back with me in about a year he had to do something take care of stuff and he's back so shout out to him for coming back once again if you guys have not already done so like share and subscribe to olympian official on youtube all right now when you're doing your dips you want to go ahead and you want to try to get as deep as you can at about a 90 degree angle with your arm with, uh, with your tricep and your forearm and if you can't do a regular dip with using your body weight go ahead and grab the assisted dip machine at your local gym they should have one and it should be very easy to use all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into our first circuit. All right, after we finish our warm-ups, we do three sets of dips, three sets of pull-ups, changing our grip. All right, and we do it back to back. So we go dip, pull up, dip, pull up, dip, pull up, then switch. All right. Now this first circuit we're gonna get into is pretty much we choose three body parts: the main body parts, chest, back, and biceps. I would add triceps, but I want to keep the time moving. So we did back, biceps, and uh, chest. And chest and back are pretty much your largest muscles, so you want to warm up the chest. You want to use your chest and, your, and, and do your back workouts first. So what we did is we grabbed the Smith machine, we did 10 reps, and we went for strictly form. We're not going for heavy weight, we're going for form. Being that it's his first time working back out, we want to reduce the uh, injuries by doing correct form. That's going to create longevity in this sport. Now, the second exercise we're doing in this circuit is really regular curls with the curl bar. And we're gonna go close grip first, then we're gonna change the grip to a little bit wider, then we're gonna go super wide grip. And we wanna focus on getting a full extension. We don't wanna do half reps, we wanna go all the way down to get that bicep long head stretched out, then curl it back up and get a good squeeze on the bicep. All right, we can do that for 10 reps. So we got 10 bench presses with the bar, we got 10 curls. And then once you finish those curls, we're gonna move on to our rear delt flies. And this is gonna be standing up. This is a variation I love to do because I feel it pretty much shredding my back up every time I do it. Now I do it with resistance bands only because I get more time under tension. My muscles can work as long as I'm stretching it and, res and it's resisting against me. And what you wanna do is you wanna have your hands, uh, not your hands, your arms, a little bit wider than 90 degrees. You don't wanna be at 90 degrees. So right now I would tell them, listen, open up your arms a little bit more so that it's not so, so right angle-ish, <laughs> all right? And you wanna just pull, keep your elbows up and pull with just your rear delts Pull with your back and that's gonna be the pretty that's gonna be the foundation of this exercise this is gonna shred your back up shred your traps up it's gonna have you looking good in no time add this to your uh, add this to your repertoire if you're not doing this already so once again I like to do circuits because everybody requests full body workouts nobody really likes to do splits people are pressed for time in the gym people are pressed for this and that and full bodies are my personal favorites because I do them in such a way that it feels like it's a hit workout, it's a strength workout, it's an endurance workout. It feels like everything at the same time. All I need is one hour in the gym and that's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to sit down. And since we did chest, back, and biceps, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the shoulders, we're going to hit the biceps, and I believe we hit one more part. I'm not sure. But we want to hit every single muscle group at least three times during this one hour. All right, now as you can see, my man right here is actually dying. <laughs> Shout out to him because he really, he really fought through this workout. Now, when you're doing your shoulder presses, you want to actually keep a right angle on your arms and push straight up, get a full extension at the top. You don't want to be doing too much of a circular motion. All right, I told him you want to change your motion to more of a press and not a circular fly motion when you're going up top. All right, next exercise we're gonna do right here is our curls. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna curl these dumbbells with the twist, turning that pinky outwards. By doing this curl, pretty much we're gonna get maximum contraction on our biceps. Now the version that he's doing right here is something I call Olympian curls. Olympian curls, you bring your arm, the bottom of your arm, which means your triceps, you wanna have your tricep parallel with your shoulder all the way up. The dumbbell should be pretty much above your head, and this is going to work your front delts as well. So you're going to be curling with your, bi with your biceps and also getting a front delt workout at the same exact time. This is a killer. Add this to your repertoire. If you're not doing these already, once again, 
Make sure you guys shout me out for this one. These are called Olympian Curls. Olympian Curls, all right? And he's he's dying right now, you know what I'm saying? He's fighting through it, but he's, he's dying. Next exercise we're gonna do is our seated rows. I like to do these seated rows with cables, with the handle, with one handle, and just work on squeezing as far back as possible. Make sure you stick your chest out, keep your back straight, knees bent and don't do too much swinging don't do too much swinging with your upper body forward and back keep your body still and really pull with your lats make those lats squeeze and try to work on having that actual bodybuilder frame all right so once again like i said we do 10 reps of everything 10 to 15 reps depending on where you are in your fitness journey you want to do 10 to 15 reps add these to your repertoire like share and subscribe i'm leaving official with your man Lee.